Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, the Pallister government is making life worse, not better, for renters across Manitoba. <laughs> Rental units are a very important housing option in every neighborhood in my constituency, and in West Broadway alone, over 90% of the homes are rentals. All tenants in Manitoba are being financially squeezed by the Pallister government in several new ways. First, rising utility bills. The Pallister government wants hydro rates to go up Order. by 70% over the next several years. Their carbon tax will also increase the cost of natural gas used for home heating. We all know these costs are ultimately paid for by tenants. Secondly, instead of helping Manitobans reduce our bills as utility rates are jacked up, the Pallister government has slammed the brakes on the successful Power Smart programs. Without a single new efficiency program in sight, landlords who may have been interested in fixing up their buildings now have even less opportunity to do so, and tenants are going to be left paying the bills. Thirdly, cuts to rent assist. For the second year in a row, the Pallister government has made a big cut to the rent assist program this year, almost $2 million. There's apparently money in the government's budget to protect 20% salary increases for the Premier and the Minister and to bring in three pieces of legislation to make sure the descendants get the money, but there's no money for rent assist. A single minimum wage worker is now losing $1,300 a year, and a two-parent family with three kids is losing $2,000 a year. The good news is it doesn't have to be this way. I recently introduced changes to the Residential Tenancies Act, which would require landlords to reduce utility costs in their buildings before they could get an above-guideline rent increase. I also called for this government to financially help landlords with these retrofits, such as with no interest, pay-as-you-save loans. The Pallister government blocked my bill entirely, missing out on yet another opportunity to create hundreds of new jobs, reduce our emissions, and actually save everyone money. Madam Speaker, Manitoba's renters deserve better than this. Yeah.